subscribe to my channel and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. In this video, we will discuss about the NIT PG May 2022 exam. So let's get started. Start from the 101 question. And this PDF is from Medico Apps. Question number one, identify the surgery is done for. This is the image. Options are keratoconus, keratoglobus, walk limbal girdle and corneal dystrophy. The correct answer is keratoconus. Next question is, patient of RA presents with the below ocular finding, what will be the diagnosis? Options are malignant melanoma, scleromalacia perforans, staphyloma and coloboma. The answer is B, scleromalacia perforans. If you want this PDF, you can join my telegram group or you can search on telegram Miss Medicine YouTuber. Next question, spot the diagnosis. This is the image and options are pseudo exfoliation syndrome, trauma, OVIPs and leukoma. The answer is pseudo exfoliation syndrome. Next question is a patient came with a history of penetrating trauma and diagnosis of sympathetic ophthalmitis was made. Which of the following will be seen? Options are AAU, CAU, pars planitis and pan -oveitis. The correct answer is T. Pan -oveitis. Next question. A patient came with photophobia, tearing, drooling of saliva, periorbital pain and headache, which now supply is affected. Image is given, you can see it. Options are optic, oculomotor, trigeminal and facial. The answer is C, trigeminal. Next question from the dermatology. A female presented with hair loss for one month, given history COVID eight week eight weeks back. What is most likely diagnosis? Options are telogen effluvium, trichomania, anagen effluvium, and androgenic alopecia female pattern. The answer is A. Telogen effluvium. Next question. Patient came with nail changes on examination, nail pitting, subungual hyperkeratosis. Oil drop changes are seen. What is the most probable diagnosis? Options are lichen planus, psoriasis, onychomycosis, yellow nail syndrome. The answer is B, psoriasis. Next question. Condition shown in the image is options are Addison's disease, metabolic syndrome, thyroid disorder and both A and B. The answer is metabolic syndrome. And this image is acanthosis nigricans. Next question. A patient undergoing treatment of borderline tuberculoid leprosy presents with lesions on forehead nose and extending to bilateral cheeks which is the most common nerve affected in this patient options are trochlear nerve ulnar nerve and trigeminal nerve the answer is d trigeminal nerve next question is what is the causative agent of anogenital wart hpv2 hpv11 hpv5 and hpv18 the answer is hpv11 Anogenital warts are a common disease and 90% are caused by known oncogenic HPV types. The next question of anesthesia. Identify the following equipment which is often used for COVID-19 patients. This is non-rebreathing face mask. Next question. A delayed intravenous urogram of a patient is shown. What is the most likely diagnosis? Options are staghorn calculus, putti kidney, pelvic ureteric junction obstruction, renal cyst. The answer is pelvic ureteric junction obstruction. Next question. 
A six-year-old child presented with recurrent UTI delayed intravenous urogram of the patient is shown. What is the most likely diagnosis? Options are vesicouretric reflux, vesicocolic fistula, urinary bladder hernia, and urinary bladder diverticula. The answer is vesicouretric reflux. Next question. A 30 year old with a motor vehicle accident presented to the casualty. His vitals are stable, but he was unable to pass urine. He has blood at the urethral meters. A RGU was performed as shown below. What is the most likely urethral injury? Options are penile urethra, membranous urethra, spongy urethra, and the bulbar urethra. The correct answer is B. Membranous urethra. Next question, a middle-aged man presented with acute onset pain in right limb, an investigation was performed. What is the name of the investigation? Options are digital subtraction angiography, ultrasound Doppler, plethysmography and MR angiography. The answer is ultrasound Doppler B. You can see the image. Next question. Thirty-five year old female presented with fever, expectoration, difficulty in breathing, and HRCT of the chest was performed and shown in the image. And you can see the image. Options are medicinal mass, pleural effusion, diaphragmatic hernia, and consolidation with air bronchogram. And the answer is D. This is the consolidation of the air bronchogram. Next question. Name the investigation shown. Options are PET CT, MD CT, server flow study, and technetium system may be scanned. The answer is PET CT A. You can see this image. Next question. Which of the following is most likely to be seen due to rupture of the secular aneurysm in the brain? Rupture of secular aneurysm is subarachnoid hemorrhage. Next question is, a 45-year-old patient came with recurrent swelling in one side of the neck. She is afraid of eating food as it worsened the swelling. Imaging was performed as shown below. What is the most likely diagnosis? Options are penetrating irregular foreign body, isolated osteoma of the floor of the mouth, cellulitis, and cervical infantitis. The answer is B, cellulitis. Cellulithiasis is salivary gland storms. Next question. A 30 year old patient presented to casualty after a motor vehicle accident. He has bruises on chest. His pulse is 122 beats per minute. BP is 90 by 60, respiratory rate 40. Chest X-ray was performed and shown below. What is the next most appropriate step in the management of this patient is chest tube placement and drainage. You can see the image what is showing to the tension pneumothorax. Next question, a 35-year-old patient presented with severe abdominal pain and vomiting. His vitals are stable. What is the most effective way to treat this patient? You can see this the image what you can see this is pneumoperitoneum options are gastric lavage with cold saline tracheostomy resuscitation and scleroderma laparotomy and chest tube insertion pneumoperitoneum ka drug kya treatment hota hai resuscitation and exploratory laparotomy next question A two-year-old child presented with the sudden onset of breathing. A two-year-old child presented with a sudden onset of breathing difficulty while playing. There are no prior history of any breathing disorder. Chest X-ray reveals unilateral hyperinflation with normal left lung. 
which of the following is true regarding this case prefer way of removing is flexible bronchoscopy next question because he is playing and engulf the foreign body next question psychiatry a person presented in the emergency department with respiratory depression after opioid intoxication what will be the management is naloxone next question a depressed patient ingests a large amount of tca what will be the drug of choice for tca poisoning any co3 sodium bicarbonate okay next question A 16-year-old girl has intense craving for food after eating large amount of food followed by recurrent vomiting. Girl was also girl was on anti-appetite drugs. What is the most probable diagnosis? The answer is bulimia nervosa because she is eating after and after large amount of food and followed by recurrent vomiting. Next question a female presented with tearfulness mood swings occasional insomnia on day 3 postpartum what is the diagnosis the answer is postpartum blues Next question medicine question is csf specimen of a patient is shown in image report shows mononuclear acidosis with moderately low sugar with elevated proteins options are pyogenic meningitis aseptic meningitis viral meningitis and tubercular meningitis you can see this image and this is tubercular meningitis next question known case of cld chronic liver disease with ascites presents with abdominal pain and tenderness ascitic tap shown presence of 600 polymorphonuclear cells which of the following is likely diagnosis the answer is spontaneous bacterial peritonitis next question a 82 year old patient with hypertension comes with acute onset of breathlessness acute hypertensive patient hai chest x ray is shown what should be done next the answer is c we will do iv right of this next question an adult patient comes of palpitations and presents with irregular irregular pulse irregularly irregular pulse pulse deficient is 20 heart rate 120 per minute bp 110 70 which one of the following is found in this patient the answer is absent a wave atrial fibrillation present next question a patient presents with digoxin toxicity pulse rate is 54 per minute with ecg evidence of third degree heart block what is the best treatment is digo digoxin immune fab next question A seventy-four year old patient with CAD presents with palpitations. ECG is shown below. BP is one twenty by eighty-four. Which one of the following shall be the best treatment for this patient? The answer is IV amiodarone, and this is the case of ventricular tachycardia, ventricular fibrillation. Next question a 25 year old patient with dental caries is undergoing dental extraction which of the following does not need prophylaxis for endocarditis the answer is d e s t which is atrial septal defect next question a female who is a known case of diabetes and non compliant to medication is brought to emergency with abdominal pain vomiting episodes recent onset confusion on examination she is dehydrated with systolic blood pressure 90 mm hg works up shows urine ketones presence with rbs 598 it's too high 
which of the following will be the next step in the management of this patient the answer is ivf with regular insulin next question a female patient complains of loosening of one tooth and hemifacial pain patient was previously treated for covid-19 4 months ago which one of the following test need to be done on priority basis the answer is mri head next question patient presents with teeth gap widening frontal bone thickening along with foot and hand enlargement what is the first line treatment is octreotide octreotide it helps in decreasing abnormal gh secretion which is seen in acromegaly and this is acromegaly case next question a patient presents with recurrence of pituitary tumor over producing gh which is the best drug to be used is c paguisomant next question a drug driver presents with sudden onset breathlessness vitals are stable and he was found to be hiv1 positive and having a pleural effusion the culture of pleural fluid shows temperature dependent dimorphic growth at 25 to 30 degrees celsius with red pigmentation what is the causative organism and treatment the answer is Teleromyces manifi and Flotaricin B. This is dimorphic fungi, which is seen in Southeast Asian countries. Next question: An eleven-year-old child with manifestations of rheumatic fever is prescribed point six muim benzathione penicillin. Which of the following is correct for secondary prevention? The answer is till five years, three weekly. Next question: A young female presents with left-sided throbbing headache. She also has nausea, vomiting, aura, and phonophobia. But the best treatment for immediate relief is somatriptan. which is 5h1 agonist next question which of the following electrolyte imbalance will produce ecg findings of st depression and u waves st depression hai and u waves present hai then which is seen in hypokalemia next question a 25 year old patient presents with multiple injuries due to rte Two days later, in the hospital, he developed dyspnea and with pitical bleeding. Which of the following is the cause? Is fat embolies, multiple injuries, RDA. After two days. Next question: A patient on antidepressant medication presents with elevated body temperature, dilated pupils, palpitations, low BP. ECG shows broad QRX complex. tachycardia and right axial deviation tachycardia right axial deviation which of the following intervention must be done immediately is sodium bicarbonate next question next question a 10 year old child had abdominal pain with melena on examination Palpable purpura is found on calves and buttocks. Which drug will be used? Is C corticosteroids. Abdominal pain with melena. Palpable purpura is found on calves and buttocks. It is seen in hanok skeleton purpura. Next question: Which of the following is not found in man to be syndrome? If you haven't seen my triads, you can. Watch that video also. I shared already about the Mantovi syndrome. Options are mucosal neuroma, megacolon, morphinoid habitus, and parathyroid hormone. The answer is parathyroid hormone. Next question: 
which fluid is shown below treatment they have sodium chloride sodium lactate potassium chloride calcium chloride the options are ringles lactate hemisol isolite p and isolite m the answer is a ringles lactate क्योंकि रिंगल लैक्टेट को ही सोडियम लैक्टेट सॉल्यूशन बोला जाता है ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अ पेशेंट प्रेजेंट्स विद फीवर एंड सीवियर काफ पेन ऑन एग्जामिनेशन कंजक्टाइवल एफ्यूजन इज सीन विद पिटिकल इरप्शंस पिटिकल इरप्शंस एंड थ्रोम्बोसाइटोपेनिया और एब्डोमन शोज टेंडर हेपेटोमेगाली इन द इट्रस केफ्ट इज नॉर्मल एंड यूरिन शोज हेमेचूरिया माइक्रोस्कोपिकली डायग्नोसिस is leptospirosis next question last one for the medicine six month old male patient with pain in extremities was admitted in hospital with the history of chest infection two years back hplc shows an increase in hpf and hps the answer is sickle cell anemia surgery next question a 35 year old female presented to opd physical examination findings are given in image which structures affected in this condition is involvement of subdermal lymphatics a 45 year old female underwent thyroidectomy on the third day she developed perioral numbness for the investigation is involved is calcium phosphate and parathyroid levels thyroidectomy hui hai maybe koi nerve damage hui hai to hum ye sab cheeze check karenge next question is most common site for intraperitoneal abscess options are saphranic space paracolic gutter pouch of morrison and cave of ditches the answer is pouch of morrison is the most common site of peritoneal abscess intraperitoneal abscess next question a patient with long standing hemorrhoids came to the hospital for a routine checkup on blood investigations hp was 7 g on peripheral blood smear following findings are same what is the most likely probable diagnosis is iron deficiency anemia next question a 30 year old male presented with recurrent painful perianal nodules on buttocks with serious discharge the image shown in the below given image below what is the most probable diagnosis the answer is c fistula in allo next question root of metastasis prostate cancer to lumbar vertebra is prostatic venous plexus for nearest gangrene a 55 year old patient present to emergency with scrotal swelling ecchymosis fevered and serous discharge image is given below most probable diagnosis is for nearest gangrene yes next question A patient presented to emergency with claudication of calf muscles, numbness in thigh, and impotence. Image shown gangrene of foot is given below. Which which artery is involved? The answer is aortic leg bifurcation. Next question: Following surgery for varicose veins, the patient started complaining of numbness along the medial aspect of leg. Which nerve is most affected? The answer is C. Saphenous nerve. Next question. I also seen this case in the hospital. A seventy-four year old male patient was bedridden for fifteen years, as shown in the image below. He developed bed sore. What is the grade of this bed sore? The answer is A. Grade one. Next question. A patient with a history of chronic alcoholism presented to the op shown 
in the image. What is the most probable diagnosis is leukoplakia. Next question. A patient came with swelling near the angle of the mandible as shown in the image. The swelling was non-tender and firm. The answer is parotid tumor. Next question. A patient came to the OPD with erythromatous neck swelling in the supraclavicular region. Pulsation was present over the swelling as shown in the image below. What will be the next step? The answer is oral antibiotics for 7 days. Which antibiotics will be given? A patient, next question, a 45-year-old female presented with galactoria. Her urine pregnancy test was negative. MRI brain shows a large pituitary tumor. Patient refused to undergo surgery for the tumor, which is the drug of choice for this patient is bromocriptin. Bromocriptin is selective D2 receptor agonist. Next question, a patient with stab injury was brought to emergency shown in the image. Vitals were stable. What is the next step? Further investigation. Next question. OBGY. Next, identify the type of hymen. You can see the image and this is septate hymen. What is the complication of this? This is copper D and the complication is trophoblastic disease. Next question of 22 year primigravida is overdue by 2 weeks. Matlab, zyada time ho gaya. She visits the OPD with complaints of vaginal bleeding, abdominal pain on the right side. On examination, her vitals are stable. Abdominal examination is unremarkable. A bimanual examination reveals a bulky soft uterus with no tenderness and no adnexal mass. Mild bleeding present with beta CG which is 1400 international unit and ultrasound reveals trilaminar endometrium and the adnexal mass normal. The next, the next best step is repeat serum beta CG after 48 hours. Next question, a patient at 22 weeks presents with profuse vaginal bleeding. Her BP and sugars are normal. The likely implantation is internal OS. Next question. A 39-year-old G2P1 presents at 18th week, 5 days for her routine targeted fetal and normally ultrasound. The fetal anatomy appears normal but the cervical length is 15 mm. Despite being counseled, there is no clear proven benefit for the same. The patient insisted on sur cervical circlage, which when of the following is a complete contraindication to circlage is ruptured membranes. Next question. A G3P2L2 presents at 7 weeks so for the termination of pregnancy by medical method. As per CS guidelines, following drug is used, mifepristone plus mesoprostol. Next question on 34 weeks, primigravida presents with jaundice and BP of 140 by 96. Her investigations revealed serum, a serum bilirubin of 1.5 mg per deciliter, SGO to 150, SGPT 200 and her LDH is 700. Platelet count is 75,000. Her KFT and coagulation profile were normal. What is, what is the diagnosis? HALP syndrome. Next question. A 22-year type 1 diabetes mellitus is in post-operative ward following a caesarean done for failed induction. She complains of drowsiness and altered sensorium. She is on maintenance MGSF for infusion. IV infusion of insulin on examination her pulse rate is 70 per minute, BP is 140-98, respiratory rate 10 per minute, auscultation of lung reveals bilateral normal air entry, abdominal examination reveals a firm uterus, normal tenderness, 
scar is intact and there is no significant vaginal bleed bilateral patella reflex absent a urine dipstick for protein and sugar is negative capillary glucose sample is 270 mg percent the suspected diagnosis is magnesium toxicity next question thirty four year old j two p one presents and thirty five weeks she has no complaints and is appreciating fetal movements well. She had a previous classical cesarean at twenty five weeks for eclampsia and severe fetal cross retardation. She is currently on low dose aspirin and prenatal vitamins on examination the uterus is thirty eight centimeter f h r is one forty beats per minute and ultrasound reveals a single live fetus in breech presentation placenta posterior and amniotic fluid normal the patient desires a vaginal delivery what is the best management schedule elective lscs at 37 weeks next question a premi gravida presents to the labor room at 40 weeks she has been in labor for three hours which one of the following determines she is in active labor cervical dilatation more than five centimeter next question Collapse of a patient during labor delivery followed by bleeding and DIC is the absence of coexisting condition is most likely due to amniotic fluid embolism. Next question in which of the following will you see long bone fractures in the fetus on antenatal ultrasound done through its osteogenesis imperfecta. All syndromes will be posted soon. G two B one present at twenty eight weeks of gestation. On examination, the uterus is twenty four weeks. On ultrasound, there is absent liquor, which could be the most likely diagnosis is fetal renal anomalies. Next question. Identify the anomaly. Septate uterus, biconate uterus, uterus, uterus tidophilus, and unicornian uterus. The answer is septate uterus. Next question. A primi gravida at 12 weeks visits the antenatal OPD. She wants to know the additional daily cal calorie requirement she would need to take. The answer is 400 kilocalories in the third trimester. Next question, a 34-year-old woman is advised to have an ultrasound Doppler and a double marker between 11 to 14 weeks. Doppler of umbilical RT helps predict early onset preeclampsia. A 34-year-old woman develops preeclampsia at 28 weeks. She is very anxious and asked why this has happened. You explained to her that there was a problem in development of maternal fetal circulation. In early pregnancy, what is the cause for this poor invasion by extra villous trophoblast of the spiral arterioles? Next question on the second postnatal day. Where will be the fundus of the uterus? The answer is B, two finger below the umbilicus. Next question. Which hormone stimulates the male fetus to produce testosterone? The answer is SCG from placenta. Will stimulate the male fetus to produce testosterone. Next question. You are asked to prepare a discharge summary of a patient who had a repair for VVF. For how long you will ask her to abstain for sexual intercourse and delay conception by? The answer is 6 weeks abstinence and delay conception by 6 months. Next question, what is the position of the uterus on the second day of postpartum? The answer is four fingers below umbilicus. Next question, pediatrics. An 11 month old child had recurrent jerky movements of the limbs, developed regression of milestones and EEG showed what is the anti-epileptic drug of choice? The answer is ACTH. And this is West syndrome, infantile spasm. 
A young child was brought by his mother complaining of multiple episodes of loose stools and also complained of drowsiness, lethargy. Skin pinch was going back very slowly and the child did not accept breastfeed. What is the cause of dehydration is severe. Next question, a 7 year old male child presented with palpable purpura over lower limbs and buttock. He complained of arthralgia, abdominal pain, previous history of upper respiratory tract infection. What is the treatment option for the following case is glucocorticoids. Next question, identify the image in a newborn child is bladder extrophy. Next question, a newborn mother has been worried about her child, did not pass urine at postnatal day 1. What advice should be given to her? Continue breastfeeding and observe. Next question. A 11 month old presented with current jelly stools, right lumbar mass, recurrent abdominal pain. X ray shows what is the clean child diagnosis is intussusception. You can see the image, they have formula of 2. And you will see in my another video about this. A child with exercise fatigue. The features are suggestive of McArdle's disease, which enzyme is likely to be deficient is phosphorylase. Next question is orthopedics. Identify the following in which condition this procedure, procedure is indicated. The answer is periarticular fracture of knee and spanning fixator. Given the radiograph of 13 year old child presented with fall on elbow. Which of the bone has a fracture is humerus. Next question. Most common complications of untreated radial head dislocation is cubital, cubitus sulcus. A patient presented with multiple swelling in hand and wrist. Finger x-ray is given in the image. The answer is, answer is multiple achondromatosis. Next and the last question of this video. Which of the following will be ideal treatment for fibular fracture? The answer is neurological assessment and analgesics cost. A patient came in emergency department with Galeazzi fracture, sharp ends at fracture site. Soft tissue swelling was seen on wrist on x-ray. Management in emergency is check vascularity, close reduce and pop slap. Share this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you.